Hello everyone, in this video tutorial I will be uh, making a new sensor introduction that is TCS3414 and to have a better idea regarding the sensor let's visit the website that is controlleverything.com and here we have to search for this sensor and let's see what we got as you can see it's a 16 bit digital color sensor programmable analog in I2C mini module it's a, a color sensor in short as you can see these are some of its reasonable features which you can see also you can have the purchasing power uh, for this sensor from this website further I will be interfacing the color sensor TCS3414 with a Raspberry Pi and a Python code and let's go to resource tab and here comes the Python code sample. Now you can download the Python code sample as a zip file from this very site. Also you can have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. Now let's have a look about the hardware connections we need to set up this part and let's proceed further. Now for the hardware connection setup First of all, the requirement is of our color sensor that is TCS3414 and this here is a Raspberry Pi and these are the GPI pins of the Raspberry Pi. Now this here is an I2C shield. Uh, it's available on the control everything.com website and it's really useful in making connections easier with other I2C devices. So gently place the I2C shield over the GPI pins like this and now what we require is a connecting cable. It's used for connection among the sensor and the I2C shield and make this connection. And make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the brown terminal of the sensor and for the same reason to the I2C shield. Now this here is a micro SP cable. Gently insert it over the power jack as it's useful for making the power connections, power supply. Now the final part is to provide the internet connection and for that there are two ways. The first way is an ethernet cable or a LAN cable as you can see and gently insert it over the ethernet jack. The second part is to provide an internet connection using an adapter as you can see adapter wireless nano USB adapter. So this is how the connections are meant. Now what do we require is to have a look over the port so that we can interface the sensor with that. Now for the interfacing part the first requirement is to get the python code and for that uh, github.com is there, login there and after that we have to search for the repository that is control everything community and let's see what we got here this is our sensor TCS3414 and this is the python code let's have a look over the instructions we need to fulfill first it says that we have to download and install assembles library on the Raspberry Pi and the steps uh, to install assemblers on this very link are provided there now open up this link for better clarification regarding the installation steps Please note down them carefully and do the installation. After that, this is the command to run the Python code. Note it down also. I get back to the Python code as you can see on my screen and here it's a .py extension file. As you notice in the code, we have imported assemblers and time libraries and we have address of the sensor that is 0x39. Now in the working section part, we are selecting the control register 0x00 or with command register 0x80 and 0x03 goes for the command we are sending to power on and ATC enable writing command is here then we are selecting gain register uh, that is 0x07 or with command register that is 0x80 and we are sending 0x00 that's the command for gain equal to 1x prescalar mode equal to divide by 1 and the writing command is here then we want to retry the data back from the sensor that's called in a general language reading part as you can see we are reading data back from register uh, 0x10 8 bytes of data we are register having or with command register that is 0x80 it's the green red blue and clear data at the end as you can see we are converting the data uh, for the values we have just read and luminance and the formulas we have used are uh, provided in the data sheet for TCS3414 at the very end of our code we have the output to be displayed on the screen as you can see we have the green color red color blue color clear data and ambient light luminance and the unit for all of them is lux please note them uh, carefully and after that we want to show the practicality of this code and let's see how we do it well uh, in the working environment uh, part first of all uh, we have to copy the code uh, this is the first step as you can see on my screen and now open up the terminal 
for the Raspberry Pi and here create a new file as you can see on my screen dot py will be the extension for the python code and here paste the entire code and after that we have to save the file and this is the command to run the python code as you can see on my screen dot py will be the extension and here you go the green red blue color luminance clear data and ambient light luminance is on the screen now as i running the command the data is almost constant but when I place some object over the source you can see the decrease in the values for all the green red blue clear data and ambient light luminance but when I uh, place a light source near the sensor and run the command you can see the increase in the values for green red blue and clear data along with the ambient light luminance so this is how the sensor works and responds to the particle the python code now what we require is to have a look over the applications and the benefits. Let's have it. The TCS3414 digital color light sensor is designed to accurately derive the color chromaticity and illuminance of ambient light and provide a digital output with 16 bit of resolution. The device includes an 8 by 2 array of filtered photodiodes, analog to digital converters, and control functions on a single monolithic CMOS integrated circuit. The applications, the end products or the market segment for this particular sensor TCS3414 are HDTVs, tablets, laptops, monitors, medical instrumentation, consumer toys, industrial commercial lighting and industrial process control. This sensor is available and can be purchased from the website that is called controleverything.com and you can have the code from the resource tab. After clicking on the code, you can download the code as a zip file. You can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end I would just like to make it clear that for any further queries you can reach us on controleverything.com and if you want to post some comments go to our community page. For articles and blogs which are relevant to this sensor and the video go to instructables.com and if you want to subscribe more video tutorials you can visit our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.